we still don't fully understand the mechanisms involved in human attraction. What actually makes us attracted to one another? One theory suggests it may be to do with our scent or pheromones to be precise. Pheromones are chemicals produced by the body and two of these, under a study known as estrotetranol, are found in human sweat and are closely related to the male and female sex hormones. We already know that other mammals, including pigs, use pheromones for communication and that they play an important role in mating. But is it the same for humans? A 2014 study tested the effects of these chemicals on perceptions of gender. Our participants were asked to discern whether moving dots and when she looked like a human walking were masculine or feminine. What they found was that heterosexual men were more likely to consider the figure to be female when sniffing a solution containing estrotetranol, while heterosexual women were more likely to identify as a male when they smell androstadionin. Also, gay men responded in much the same way as straight women. Despite this data, definitive evidence of human pheromones is still lacking, with many conflicting findings, irreplicable results or false positives due to small sample sizes. So while the jury is still out on pheromones, perhaps for your sake and ours, don't abandon your soaps and deodorants just yet. And if you're ever around pigs, try not to sweat too much. Which side is your good side? Most of us have a side that we think looks best, but symmetrical faces are often touted as being more beautiful. But is there any truth in this? The idea comes from evolutionary advantage theory, which suggests if developmental gene expression is perfectly executed, the result should be perfect symmetry. Therefore, if one side of our face has a wonky eye or a dropped cheek, it hints that a dysfunction such as an illness may have occurred during development. So in a very deterministic, I woman, new man sort of way, we supposedly find these people less attractive as a way to preserve our bloodline and pass on good genes to our offspring. But fear not, my wonky compadres, we are not destined to die alone just yet. None of these predictions have actually held up under the microscope of recent research, and studies show that facial symmetry actually does not seem to be related to physiological factors, and attractiveness and facial symmetry appear to have no relationship. Even more damningly, it doesn't seem to increase people's physical allure, so beauty truly is in the eye of the beholder after all. Yay! Now, we can't talk about attraction without talking about our oh, nether regions. And no, not in the way you would expect. Aww. Did you know there are actually taste receptors in human testicles? Mm -hmm. But what on earth are they doing there? Now, before you go around trying to taste things with your testicles, if you have them, the actual truth of the matter is both less and more exciting. Yes, there are taste receptors on testicles, but there are actually taste receptors throughout our entire bodies, including the heart, brain, bladder, lungs, pancreas, and body fat. Whilst they can't actually taste anything in the same way we can in our mouths, receptors in these organs are still sensing molecules, sending messages that helps the body maintain the right metabolic environment in that organ. And in the testicles, neutral receptors do appear similar to those involved in detecting bitter tastes in the mouth. Although it's not fully understood, it's thought that this is crucial in enabling sperm to fully develop, as mice that have had these receptors knocked out are shown to have significant reductions in sperm volume. So while there isn't any direct evidence for their role in humans, there is a strong correlation between human male infertility and changes in these taste receptor genes, suggesting this might contribute to fertility problems. But I mean, science aside, there are taste receptors in testicles, so be sure to share that fun fact at your next dinner party. So whilst we're not that much closer to understanding the mysteries of attractiveness, it's fun to consider the weird and beautiful ways our body keeps us guessing. Testicles. Can I call them something else? Because I feel like... Or the balls is not scientific enough, is it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>